So a company called Black Knight Inc. recently put out a, an article basically describing what happens when a, when a homeowner leaves the forbearance plan. In today's video, I wanna highlight the key components that I took away after reading the article. So according to Black Knight, there are 6.48 million households who have entered into a, into a forbearance plan due to the financial concerns brought on by the pandemic. And here are where the homeowners stand right now. So currently there are 2,543,039% people that are current on their payments and have left the program. 625,009% have paid off their mortgages. 434,007% have negotiated and a repayment plan and have left the program. 2,254,000, which is 35%, have extended their original forbearance plan and 512,000, which is 8%, are still in their original forbearance plan, which only leaves 116,000, 2% have left the program and are still behind on their payments. So this shows that of the 3.72 million people that exited or left the forbearance plan, only 116,000 are still behind on their mortgage payments. There are still 2.77 million borrowers in a forbearance plan, and, and no one knows for sure how many of those borrowers are going to be foreclosing, but there are three main reasons why experts predict we won't see a tsunami of foreclosures like we did about a decade ago during the housing crash. Reason number one, 30% of borrowers that are in a forbearance plan are still current on their mortgage payment. Reason number two, banks likely don't want a repeat of what happened through 2008 through 2012 when they had to put a bunch of foreclosures on their books. And, and this time around, many of them are gonna negotiate a modified plan with the borrower, which will enable households to maintain ownership of their home. Reason number three, with the significant equity that these homeowners have, they now have the option to sell rather than go into foreclosure. So the question I keep getting is, will there be foreclosures coming to the market? And, and to be honest, the, the answer is yes. There are hundreds of thousands of foreclosures that hit the market each and every year. You know, economic hardships happen across the board and, and in many cases, people just can't make their mortgage payments. So here's a breakdown of new foreclosures over the past three years prior to the pandemic. In 2017, there were 314,220 foreclosures. 2018, there were 279,040. 2019 had 277,520 foreclosures that hit the market. So through the first three quarters of 2020, there was only 114,780 foreclosures, new foreclosures that hit the market across the United States. So let's just say that 10% of those that are currently in a forbearance plan foreclose this year, that would mean that 275,000 would be added to the market in 2021, which if you look back at the last three years, that would just be an average year. So what happens if we go above 10%? So if we do experience a higher, a higher percentage of foreclosures from those in a forbearance plan, Many experts do predict that our current housing market will easily absorb the excess inventory. In 2020, we came into the market with only 1.2 million houses, single family houses for sale and available for purchase. We're now entering into 2021 with 320,000 fewer homes for sale while buyer demand remains extremely strong. This means that the housing market has the ability to soak up a lot of inventory. So what's the bottom line today? You know, we're certainly gonna see more foreclosures later on this year, especially if you compare it to the record low numbers that we saw in 2020. However, the market will be able to handle it because we have extremely strong buyer demand right now. My name is Ryan Rendon. If you've thought about buying or selling a home, or if you've got any questions about this information at all, my cell phone number is 210-701-4878. Give me a call. We'll see what we can do to get you into your new home. Talk to you later.